What's up guys, I am back with another video. And in today's video, I wanted to talk about an update on the Sonia Massey situation. It has been recently reported that in 911 calls, Sonia Massey's mother can be heard asking for police to come help her daughter in the middle of a mental health episode. Sonia Massey's mother made a desperate call to 911. In the recording, you can hear the distress in her voice as she asks for police assistance to help her daughter. She then states specifically to them, Please don't send no combative policemen that are prejudiced, she says, just hours before her daughter was shot by an officer. I'm scared of the police. Take a listen to the audio clip. He's out in the front of the house talking so loud that you can probably hear her to the end of the block. Okay. She had a car keys in her hand, but um, the, they told me, the mental people told me to call 911 because she could uh, get in her car and, and kill her herself okay. or somebody because she has ran a couple of red lights when she went up. And so um, she's being sporadic, and I don't want her, I don't want you guys to hurt her, please. Don't, okay, please hey, my, don't, I've got some don't. questions I've got to ask you. Does she have a weapon? Okay. No. Helps yeah. Thank you. And please don't send no combative policemen that are prejudiced, please. Okay, well, that, that would be done. Of them, they just do their job, okay? Oh, they're all, yeah, they're scary. I'm scared of the police. Please, okay. please. There's nothing me. to be fearful of, ma'am. Thank you. You're welcome. Sometimes they make the serious bit worse. When law enforcement is called to assist during mental health crises, their approach can significantly impact the outcome. Ideally, officers would have specialized training in crisis intervention, allowing them to de-escalate the situation safely. Unfortunately, this is not always the case. Sonia Massey's case highlights the urgent need for better training and resources for law enforcement officers in handling mental health emergencies. It also underscores the importance of having mental health professionals available to respond to such calls. As a society, we need to advocate for improved mental health services and support systems. By doing so, we can ensure that individuals like Sonia Massey receive the help they need in a compassionate and effective manner. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's continue this important conversation in the comments below.